Hey MC fam, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use grease on my daughter's hair for moisture retention. And yes, I mentioned grease and no, grease isn't the devil, but I'm going to show you how to use grease to benefit your little one's hair. Okay guys, so I am starting on freshly washed hair. Now before we get into the products I'm using, I want you to understand that when it comes to grease, grease is a sealant, it isn't a moisturizer. And I find that a lot of you guys are using grease the wrong way. You're using it to moisturize rather than what it's intended to be, which is a sealant. So I'm gonna show you right now how to use it as a sealant to benefit from moisture retention. The first product that's on my daughter's hair is her leave-in conditioner. Now I apply the leave-in conditioner to her hair in the shower and then I put her microfiber towel on just to absorb some of the excess water from her hair. So her hair is damp at the moment but it has her leave-in conditioner. So you're going to see me work that leave-in conditioner into her hair a bit more. I applied it in her twists. If you haven't seen how I apply products to my daughter's hair in twists on wash day, check out her wash day video. I'll link it in the i cards above and also below in the description box underneath this video. So the next step, I'm applying her cream to her hair. This is going to help to soften her hair and just make her hair feel all types of good. I love this cream. As you've seen from some of my daughter's other moisturizing videos, you see that I like to apply some cream around the base of her hair. And I do this because the base tends to get dry sometimes. Um, so I like to do that. It just helps to keep the base of her hair, you know, soft and supple, obviously to avoid breakage as well. Now for the star of the show, I'm applying a little bit, just a little bit of the grease to her hair and I'm applying this last for a reason. I apply the grease last because I wanted to create a greasy film on her strands. This is going to help to slow down the evaporation of water or moisture from my daughter's hair, which will help to keep her hair moisturized for longer until her next moisturizing session, which is usually at the end of the week. One thing to note when it comes to grease is that grease may not be suitable for all hair types, particularly those that have thin individual strands and also for those that are on a schedule of moisturizing, for example, every one to two days and for those that do not clarify their little one's hair, mainly because of weighing down the hair and product buildup. I know you're probably wondering, well, Novella, in the last video, you used um, a butter on your daughter's hair when you're moisturizing her hair, and today you're using a grease. Now, which one is it? Which one do you actually use? The thing I want you to know is that I am not loyal to a particular brand. What I'm loyal to is the function of the product and how it performs on my daughter's hair. So the function of the grease or the butter is to help to slow down the evaporation of moisture or water from my daughter's hair. So I can use any grease or any butter so long as it performs well on my daughter's hair and the function is to seal in the moisture I'm going to use it so that's why it's important to be able to identify what is a grease what is a moisturizer so that when you are moisturizing your little one's hair for example using the LCO method you will know exactly what to pick for your LCO products so if you're struggling to know what products to use as part of your LCO products to moisturize your little one's hair or if you've never been heard of the LCO method before you don't know what I'm talking about click the link below this video in the description box to download your free guide where I explain everything about the LCO method give you examples so you know how to identify your moisturizers your sealants so that you can use it the right way to benefit your little one's hair
There you go NC fam, all sections completed. Now this is how to use grease the right way for moisture retention. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share it with anyone you feel may benefit from watching. Take care.